Hi there everybody and uh, welcome to another video. On today's video I have this uh, Mercedes C180, the estate uh, version. This is a W203, um, 2005. Um, I'm gonna be changing the anti-roll bar links. So that's the, that's the part number there for the anti-roll bar link. I'm using this uh, Febby Bilston uh, parts which are made in uh, Germany and they're good so I like I like using this particular make um, the bit I'm talking about is this anti-roll bar link here and uh, we're gonna need an 18 mil to get these nuts out and also we might need one of these for the center of that um of where the uh, nut is but um just wanted to show you how to uh, check your anti-roll bar links sometimes they're noisy sometimes they knock in this case uh, i'm changing it because the little rubber around the rubber around this joint is broken so that's why i'm changing it they're not actually knocking they're actually okay, but uh, this car is going out, so it's been sold recently. So um, it's better if it goes out with new and throw our links. Um, so I got the wheel here. Okay, I got my wheel. Make sure you have a light. And then I'm going to try to put the light up here. And then if you rotate the wheel all the way to one side, which can be a little bit hard, you can check the condition of your anti bar links because they will open on the side. So that side seems okay. This here, the rubber is okay. And this side here, you can't really see very well, but then you can rotate the wheel the other way okay and now we can have a look at the anti-roll bar from this end and you may be able to notice that the rubber is split there Uh, so, if you don't turn the wheels, sometimes the rubber seems to be okay. It doesn't really uh, reveal itself. So, I'm going to start by uh, taking the wheel out. I'm also going to change the other side. But uh, the other side I'm going to do with the air gun, because it's a little bit faster. But if you haven't got an air gun, we're going to use the traditional tools. <laughs> it's going to take me a little bit longer, but, if you, uh, but this is how you could do it if you don't have, obviously, uh, power tools. Okay, the wheel is out and we're just looking at the top of the anti bar link here. I'm going to wire brush this area a little bit. Because that's the area where it's going to be the hardest to try and get that nut out. So wire brush it as clean as you can. And then do the same with the bottom end. And then spray some WD-40. Let it soak for a bit while you do the bottom one. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is I got an 18 mil socket and I'm just gonna get it in there and try to move this. 
it might be a little bit hard. So I'm gonna use the big power bar. Now you can use the ratchet a little bit, but the only thing with using the ratchet is that the center of this will also be turning. But I just want to make sure this is nice and loose, like that. Okay, so I have a T40 um, Torx here which is going to go in the center of that so we can hold it while we undo this nut so obviously I have to get it in the correct place okay so this is how we would traditionally do this. Obviously, if you have power tools this process can be a little bit fast and occasionally you may realize that um, it is almost impossible to remove these and the center of this will uh, get damaged at which point you have to cut it so cutting it is a pain in the neck you may need an angle grinder or something like a dremel something small the dremel may be able to cut it through there You'll have to cut the nut and whatnot. Right, so I'll just continue with that. Okay, so that one is out. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it there for now and uh, we're gonna tackle the bottom one Okay, this is the uh, bottom one um, So just to make sure this is sitting properly in the center to save Obviously uh, Damaging it because if you damage it Then we have to do all the Cutting, drilling, whatever. As you can see, that just came out. <laughs> so I may actually put it on this side, um, somewhere where. Okay, because I'm also leaning this against something. So when I lean it against it, then uh, it's a bit easier for me to move. Well, I think you guys get the idea. <laughs> So I just have to hold it so it doesn't uh, come out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, I've got it out. So just take the nut out and Same for the top here. Get that out, and then you can remove the link. Now we have our new link. Just to feed it through the bottom there. And 
for the top. Put your nuts. <laughs> okay. It's a bit dodgy, but okay, your nuts there. This can move, so you can just adjust it to fit the hole up there. And then you can get the nut in there. So I think pretty much you get the idea of what we're doing here. Now we just need to tighten these 18 mils. Again, hold the center, but it will be a lot easier because there's no corrosion. Um, so with all that said, I hope this video helps. Don't forget to subscribe and like my videos and uh, we'll see you on the next video.